Hello ladies and gents. Pipe smokers, pipe lovers, welcome to this channel. I'm Daniel Mastron, I'm pipe maker from Croatia. And as you could see, I received some material today. I received some briar from Italy. Not actually from my main supplier, but good enough, okay? I asked another uh, supplier to deliver me a package that would contain his selection of briar and uh, I was hoping for the best, you know. Oh, by the way, I am smoking a very old pipe I made for myself from Hollywood from Italy. Actually, I do prefer Hollywood that is wild olive and uh, I have a batch of Hollywood from Greece that has a lot more lines in there. This is from Italy and I assume from plantations or somewhere where they are kind of cutting, you know, the the old trees and stuff like that. So it is not as dense, but still that was back in the days when I was uh, playing with with olive from Italy. Yeah. It's a nice pipe, works really fine. I love um, smoking Latakias from uh, Hollywood. They have certain kind of taste that I prefer when smoking from Hollywood, so yeah. Anyway, back to the point. I received some material, I was cleaning it up using a, a sanding wheel and I was searching for uh, pieces that I can move aside, maybe for shows and maybe for even for, uh, for smooth pipes, maybe even for, for the shows, you know. and. Uh, hmm. Unfortunately, none of these are show material. That brings me to a point uh, I was telling in my previous videos about how hard it is actually to find a really, really super nice material. And uh, in my opinion, uh, people that are buying pipes um, don't have uh, that much of a clue, I think, maybe I'm wrong, tell me if I'm wrong, uh, about how hard it is actually to find a really super nice material, it's really a nasty thing to find it, not nasty, hard thing to find actually. Smoking a Bajou morning from Kill me if I know. One sec. <laughs> it's this one, Cornell and Deal. Not too crazy about that tobacco. But, you know, it works for the workshop show. So, yeah. So, all in all, out of 48 blocks, I got. 23 blocks that I can use for smooth pipes, which is okay. And most of those will probably be free hands because the grain is kind of crazy, which I which I like personally. And the rest will be mostly for sandblasting and some very few pieces will be for rustications. So all in all, not that bad. If I consider that I have never been working with that guy and also that the 
price was really affordable. I was looking for uh, his selection of what he can offer me for like, you know, a reasonable amount of money. And that's basically what I got. So nothing too crazy. I still have my batch of super nice blocks and I'm waiting Mimo to let me know that he has some super nice uh, pieces for me and I will continue to ask him and also to buy from him because he is still my main dealer for the blocks for the briar but I am open to these offers also because none n not every piece has to be made from a super high grade quality uh, briar to be nice to to look nice to have a reasonably nice price and, and so on you know um, at first I started to remove these super high grades from all batches simply because I wanted to have show pieces of uh, briar to use them when I'm going to the shows so that's what I will do with those. I will save them for the shows. After so many years, you really don't feel the, the olive. Kind of shame. I like that sweet, um, thick um, taste that you can um, feel barely behind the tobacco. It's kind of fun to play with it, you know, when, when you are constantly using briar pipes and then you turn to, to olive, it's kind of interesting to experience another dimension of that same tobacco, you know. Okay. Today I was not in the workshop. I had a little fun with my kids. It was super nice. We were visiting an area that is kind of a, not a national park, but a geopark where you have a swamp uh, areas and uh, with a lot of birds and everything. Okay, birds are not here at this time of the year. There are only a few of those. But it is still nice to see how seasons are changing you know and just to be in the nature to to not be glued to flat screens and then you know games and stuff like that that's always great stay safe guys and uh, have fun okay bye bye